Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an unboxing of this beautiful art supplies subscription box which was very kindly sent to me by Natalie at Sketch and Story. I will of course be sharing with you everything that was included in this box. I'll also be doing a demonstration of all of the products that were included and later on in the video I'll be sharing details of how to enter the really exciting giveaway. One of the things I really love about this subscription box is that you get some beautiful artwork from the featured artist along with a double-sided sheet which really tells you a story about the products that have been included. This one is the Midnight Marble Chapter 10 which actually came out as September's box and it was Inktober themed. It tells you all about the products that are included and it also gives you some ideas for how to use them which I really really love. And these are products that on the whole I hadn't tried uh, other than the Sakura Jelly Roll. So it was really nice to be able to read a little bit more about them. About the Artisan Watercolours created by Julia Kay. The Featured Artist, Shannon. And then also there's an art challenge set which you can then take part in over on Instagram by tagging in Sketch and Story. And I thought that was a really, really nice feature of this box. So we'll start off by having a look at everything that was included. So there was this Rose's chocolate and a pouch of green tea. The Sketch and Story business card. And of course, I will leave details in the description box for all the links you need for Sketch and Story. There's also a really lovely sticker included along then with all of the products. First up, there are these three pens in pink, blue and grey. And this is Le Plume Pigmented brand, which are made by Uchida in Japan. And they are jewel tipped pens. So you've got both a brush pen and a finer nib on the other end. Then there were these two black pens, which are Le Pen Drawing Technical. And I will be trying out these later on as well. There's then a Sakura Jelly Roll pen in white. And these are the two paints that were included in the September subscription box. And I'll be swatching those out. And Natalie also very kindly included a taster for me of a beautiful paint that's going to be included in the Christmas special edition subscription box. There's also this handmade seed paper, which comes from Bangalore in India. And you can use it for sketching and you can also plant it in the garden, which I thought was a really lovely touch. I'm going to start off by trying out the different pens in my notebook. And I thought that would give you a really good feel for the quality of the products that are included. So you can see that it's got a really nice thick brush pen on one end and then a much finer pointed nib on the other. And this is a brand of pen that I had never heard of or tried before. So I was really keen to see how well it worked. I absolutely love how easy it is to get that difference between the thin upstroke and then the thick downward stroke and I think these will be perfect for using in my bullet journal and doing the headings and also add the, adding them to my traveller's notebook. Next 
Whilst I'm trying out the pens, I'll tell you about the giveaway I mentioned. Natalie has very kindly offered to sponsor a subscription box. And all you need to do is join the Sketch and Story mailing list. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. The Sketch and Story boxes are nearly always sold out. If there are any left, then they get listed on the website so that you can buy previous boxes. But so it's definitely worth getting on that mailing list anyway, because then you hear about the new boxes and you get some sneak peeks of everything that's coming up. And I was so excited when Natalie contacted me to ask if I'd like to offer the giveaway. I followed her for ages and I always love seeing the boxes. And the giveaway will be open for one week and it is open internationally. And once the giveaway has closed, I will select a winner at random and I will let you know both in the comments on this YouTube video and I'll also post it up in the community tab too. So make sure you look out for that once you've joined Natalie's mailing list. And there you can see the different pens all swatched out on my journal. Next, I'm going to have a look at the paints that were included. And Natalie's also included some watercolour card for me to be able to swatch the paints out. And as I mentioned, this one is a taster from the Christmas Special Edition box. And she has told me a little bit about that box. It's almost all going to be artisan made with some shimmer and matte paints from two different paint makers a hand-fired ceramic palette and also some handmade paper and that sounds like a fantastic box to me. In terms of the costs of the boxes they're usually £25 each with free UK shipping and a small fee for international shipping. And Natalie keeps a wait list so that she can contact people and let them know when spaces become available. I've opened up the two paints included with this subscription box. And there's this deep black called Hell. And the other paint is called Carrara. And as you can see that these paint pans are actually transparent so you can see the three different marbled colours in this paint and I've never seen anything quite like that before and I was really excited to try them out. The first thing I'm going to do is swatch all three of the paints onto these rectangles of watercolour paper. I really like having different swatch cards, both of the watercolours that I have and inks and I tend to keep them inside my junk journal and I make a note usually on the back of them of the brand and the different paint colours so that I can easily refer back to them in the future. So I'm starting off with the paint called Carrara. And I'm adding lots of the paint at one end of the swatch strip and then I'm adding more water to try and dilute it so that I can get a feel for the different effects that I'm going to be able to create. And I find this really helpful to do before starting on an actual painting project so that I know how things are going to look with more or less water added and also to see how the paints look once they're dry. And I'm now going to move on to doing exactly the same thing with the deep black paint called Hell. I always find it fascinating to see how different paints behave, whether it's from different brands or different makers, they all seem to have their different properties and act in different ways. And I love with this hell how deep you can get it and then how you can really nicely fade it out by adding more water. 
And then finally, I'm going to do a sample of the really lovely purpley coloured paint that's a sneak peek from the Christmas box. The first two paints that I swatched out were made by Julia Kay, who is a Swedish artist turned paint maker. And that's one of the things I really like about this box is that it's introduced me to different makers and artists that I probably otherwise would never have heard of. Now that I feel comfortable that I've got a good feel for the paints and the pens, I'm going to move on to creating something in my watercolour sketchbook. The theme that was set out on the card included in the box was Midnight Marble and it was to use the marbly colours of the paints to create something looking like different moon phases. And I've kind of broadly stuck within that theme. And I've already seen on Instagram sketch and story sharing some of the different artwork created by people that have subscribed to the box and it was absolutely beautiful. So I started off by creating a big circle on my page because I want to keep all of the paint within there. And I've also then drawn another half circle which I'll be using for my moon. I've been lucky enough to try out a few different subscription boxes over the years. And I have to say, this is one of my absolute favourites. One of the things I particularly like about it is how there's a theme set and a challenge that you can take part in. And it really makes you feel included and part of something, along with, as I mentioned, the chance to try out products from different artisan makers and brands that you may well not have tried out before and aren't necessarily easy to get hold of. And I think that's a really lovely feature of the Sketch and Story subscription boxes. I painted the moon using the Carrara colour. And I'm now moving on to using the paint in the shade of Hell to fill in most of the rest of the circle. And I already knew at the beginning that I wanted to make sure I got quite a few different shades. So I'm using a lot of the paint directly from the pan because I want to get that really deep black. And I'm going to be adding lots of water to spread that paint out inside the circle. One thing I really enjoyed about creating this was limiting myself to just the two paints and seeing how many differences and how much contrast I could get just simply by playing around with how much paint I applied onto my page, how many layers I added and then how much water I used to draw that paint in towards the centre. And it really stretched me because I'm used to using lots of different colours in my paintings. But actually, I enjoyed it so much. I think it's something I'll probably do more often. You can already see in that larger circle how much variation I've been able to get just by playing around with how much paint I've applied. I've then gone back in just to drop some of the paint just really around the edge of the moon to try and give again a little bit more contrast and some darker shades inside that larger circle. I'm also then going back and adding some of the Carrara, Carrara paint on top as well and I think it really stands out beautifully on that background. And once all of the paint is dried I'm going to start adding some detail. So I'm using one of the technical drawing pens and I'm using this to very loosely doodle out some trees along the bottom of the larger circle. I 
I then just keep doing the same process by really loosely adding lines in the shape of a triangle and making them smaller and smaller as they move inside the circle and then adding a really simple tree trunk at the bottom. Once I've added all of the trees, I will just finish off my pages using the Sakura Jelly Roll pen in white to add some stars. So I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to enter the giveaway. So pop on over to join the mailing list for Sketch and Story and leave me a comment down below importantly to let me know that you've entered the giveaway. And if your name that you've used to register on the mailing list is different to your YouTube name, can you just please pop your name as well inside your entry underneath the video, just so that I can tie them up and know that you've definitely entered. So good luck with that giveaway. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be great if you'd leave it with a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you consider subscribing. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in the next one.